Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Litter Media Live, Pickaway County Special Edition. Today's interview brought to you by Kingston National Bank. We're talking with Steve Sawyer, the coordinator of Arts Around Gallery, which, of course, is located in Circleville. You've probably seen a number of stories that we've done about Arts Around, different events, things coming up on our littermedia.com uh, website as well as on our social media. We're going to be talking to Steve more about what they're doing currently and all the way through the end of the calendar year 2023. We'll be back with Steve Sawyer right after this from Kingston National Bank. And, of course, Kingston National Bank, among their many branch offices, there's one right there in Circleville. Steve Sawyer, welcome. Good to have you with us. Nice to see you. Now, tell us about uh, Arts Around. I know a lot of folks are aware of it, but for those that have not heard of it, give us an explanation of what it is. Well, I probably say the majority of the people in Pequay County are not aware of mm. us. Uh, we've been in existence since about 2002, but we've been in the gallery for probably the last three years. Uh, what we're doing is we uh, try to promote the arts in Pickway County. Uh, most of the artists that we display in the, the art gallery are from Pickway County, or at least have some connection to Pickway County. Mm -hmm. um, we do a wide variety of things. We uh, have authors. We have a bookstore within the gallery with local authors. We have uh, a lot of the art of various types. We have everything ranging from pottery to paintings to photographs to lithophanes, yeah. which nobody knows what those are. <laughs> Arts of all kinds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, where is the gallery located, and what are your hours? Okay, it's 135 West Main. It's in the old bank building right next door to the Ted Lewis Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, we're generally open on Fridays and Saturdays, and when we can get the volunteers, we, we open on Sundays as well. Mm. Uh, Fridays, it's usually 4 to 7. 11 to 5 on Saturday, and if we have somebody who can man the, the post, mm -hmm. it's 1 to 4 on Sunday. Is this a, a gallery that, that, you know, schools take field trips for art classes, things of that nature that you could handle some students? Oh, yes. Uh, we actually had, in April, we had a high school event oh. uh, where we had all the high schools in Pickway County brought in their art from their, right. their students at 168 entries. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. Great exposure that way, and yeah. artists of the not only the future, but of currently doing that thing now. And that's one of the things I'm trying to build. Is I wanted a lot of our artists are older because mm -hmm. they have the time. Sure, but I I want to encourage the younger artists to come in and take a look and uh, possibly uh, display their art. Now we had an event that you were doing here uh, a week or so ago, a uh, quick draw. Mm -hmm. How did that come out? Uh, it was the first time we tried it. And so it's mixed. We had five contestants. Mm -hmm. The idea on that was that we would uh, have two hours to do a drawing, and we provide the easels and the, the canvases. Mm -hmm. And then the artists would then draw something Western-themed for this one. Mm -hmm. And it, it got a lot of good response. Good. So we want to look forward as to what is happening through the rest of this calendar year, 2023, and obviously some, some big event coming up here not too far down the road is called the Circleville Pumpkin Show. Yes. Uh, well, what we do in, in October is the, the month of October, we do an everything pumpkin, mm. where er, all the artists in the area bring in the stuff that's related to pumpkin, Yeah, and we display that. And then during the pumpkin show, we'll be open extra hours. We'll be open the full pumpkin show. Mm -hmm. So people, as they're visiting the pumpkin show, they can come right into the gallery and look around as well. Yes, we're going to have an opening to the uh, displays, mm -hmm. you know, all the, cam the canvases. And they'll be able to come directly into the gallery. And out front of the, the gallery, we'll have some other art displays. Okay. Now, um, it seems to me that there was an event that you had, uh, the fellow that does a lot of the blown glass, that was maybe a year or so ago? Yeah, the, the Jack Pines. Yes. We do those occasionally. We haven't done the one this year. Mm -hmm. We have prior years. Mm -hmm. But wasn't one dedicated to pumpkins? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was correct. I think I'm pretty sure we did a story on that. Mm -hmm. So moving past the pumpkin show, what, what's down the road? 
Well, the next thing up is we're going to start doing uh, talking to artists. Mm. It's going to be a series of meet and greets, basically. We'll bring in an artist, and then people who want to see that artist and talk to them mm -hmm. will be able to come in and do that. We'll be doing some of it probably at the library and some at the gallery. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with what you said about the... Uh, the field trip that the and the contest where the students came in and brought art, you're trying to reach out to younger audiences as well, not just high school, but even in the elementary level. Uh, that's the eventual plan. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been on on the job for six months, so I'm trying to still develop events as yeah. we go. And one of the things I want to do is I want to do like a middle school and maybe even an elementary. How long have you been involved personally in, in art? Uh, well, with Arts Around, I've been involved. I'll be coming up on the year October 1st. Mm -hmm. I've been the coordinator for about the last six months. Mm -hmm. But as far as you're, you're doing art for yourself, for Steve Sawyer, how long have you been doing uh, that? Probably two years. Uh -huh. And what is your specialty? <laughs> uh, wood carving and lithophanes. Okay, now <laughs> explain that second one. <laughs> okay, lith lithophanes is a type of art where you create a picture on a translucent material. And then when you hold that translucent material up to light, you can actually see the picture. Uh -oh. This is what they did before photography. Gotcha. They used to create dyes, and then they would pour translucent porcelain into that dye, and then people would have candles or whatever behind that, mm -hmm. and you could see the picture. Hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's an 1830s technology. Right. But then I'm playing with it in the modern sense, and then I'm using it to do pictures for people. Yeah. Uh, my daughter took uh, photography in, in college, uh, along with arts and graphic design, all the things. Of course, at that point, you were just going from developing, like a developing room for photo film, to the digital age. What is it that, what you're talking about, what kind of things, images does that present that maybe digital can't give you even though it's such a great technology well it's, it's a 3d effect mm -hmm. because you're actually carving into the media so you're carving a negative image into the media and then so that that's why it looks 3d gotcha and and it's amazing that this as you said this technology or this type of art goes back uh, more than 100 years yes yeah so uh we talked about the pumpkin show we talked about what you're doing after that uh, moving even farther closer to December, what other projects? Well, we're going to be doing a calendar gala, and then we'll be doing a winter sale in December. Mm -hmm. So we we basically tr put some things on sale, winter related, and the calendar gala. We have a fundraiser that we do. We sell calendars, mm -hmm. and we'll be selling those for fifteen dollars each, and they are showing on each month. Mm -hmm an individual artist and what their, what their work is. Right. So, yeah, we'll, those will be coming out probably in the next two or three weeks. It seemed to me that uh, we had a story uh, on, on littermedia.com here a few weeks back. Pike County was doing a calendar, and they wanted the artist to submit works that had something to do with Pike County. Is that what you're talking That's about for Pickaway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've had more response this year than we've had any prior year. So the call is already going out for that work. Yeah, it, it's basically settled. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, they're in the judging phase. Okay. So there are, I guess, hundreds that they're looking through. Wow. Well, make sure we get the results of that. We will, we'll post that as well. Steve, anything else uh, between now and the end of the year you want to touch on? Uh, just generally, I want to let people know that we're there. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our biggest difficulties is getting the word out. People don't know that we exist, uh, but we are, uh, we have reasonably priced art and you can come in and take a look and there are a wide variety of different types of styles. Now, do you have a, a website or a Facebook page or? I have both. Okay. What are those addresses? Uh, it's uh, artsaroundgallery.org and well, let me double check. That's okay. Sure. Now, the website is artsaround.org, mm -hmm. and the Facebook page is Pickway County or Pickway Arts Around. So, so any events that you've planned 
or any calls that you have for work will always show up on those. Yes. Okay. Well, Steve, we appreciate your uh, your coming in. Hopefully, this will get uh, the word out even more about Arts Around. Uh, obviously, our area is um, very interested in art, and I'm sure it's no different in Pickaway County. Maybe they just didn't know that it was out there for them, too. Yeah, I've been trying to copy as much as I could the Pump House. Yeah. Uh, that's a great organization as well. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Very good. Steve Sawyer, again, the coordinator of Arts Around Gallery, located right there in downtown Circleville. Uh, again, their gallery hours are typically Friday. Friday, 4 to 7. Saturday. 11 to 5. And if you get a volunteer Sunday? 1 to 4. Okay. Check them out, Arts Around Gallery in Circleville. Steve Sawyer, our guest on a special edition of Litter Media Live for Pickaway County, brought to you by Kingston National Bank. I'm Mike Smith.